track racing on a very simple bike with one gear and no brakes. But the events that take place on the track, not so simple. There is a little bit more to it than who can get to the finish line first. So in this video, we're gonna give you a run through of all the different disciplines that take place on the track. Let's start off with the sprint event, short and require raw power. Now you may have seen this event on the velodrome before and wondered what in the world is a motorcycle doing on the track? Well, this is journey racing. It was first developed in Japan in 1948 for gambling purposes, but in the 2000 Sydney Olympics, it became an official event. The Kieran sprint race requires a journey, which is the thing that looks like a motorcycle, to bring the riders up to speed. Now the journey actually is electric these days, keeping up with the times. The Kieran race starts on the pursuit line with the riders staggered up the track. But in order to determine what position each rider goes in, they must draw a card and whatever number is on that card is the position they are placed on the start line. The journey will then come through and the riders will get behind the journey for three laps. Once the three laps is over and the riders are up to speed, the journey will pull off and the riders are left to fight it out for the win for the final three laps. The amount of heats and rounds there are in the Kieran event all depends on how many riders take part. The riders that are placed higher in the heats will get put through to the finals and the ones that are placed lower will get put through to the repertage. The sprint. Riders competing in the sprint will start off by doing a flying 200 meter. Now flying means that they get approximately 800 meters of the track to build up their speed before they hit the 200 timed event. The 200 meter is actually marked with white lines on the track so riders don't have to guess how far 200 meters is. Following the 200, the riders will go on to knockout heats. And how this works is that they go in pairs. So it'll be the fastest rider in the 200 meters will go up against the slowest rider in the 200 meters, the second fastest against the second slowest, and so on. The winners of that round then get put through to the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and the finals, depending on how many riders there are taking part in the event. They get put up against each other in a best of three, three laps match sprint. A very exciting race to watch and a very tactical one too. Tactics play a huge part in the match sprint. Riders will be looking at each other constantly, so it's important to have a poker face. You'll also see some riders track standing to force the other rider in front and take the lead. Another pretty simple sprint event. Now this one is a 500 meters for the women and one kilometer for the men. They will start on the pursuit line from a standing start and tackle 500 meters for the women and one kilometers for the men. The team sprint, three riders covering three laps of the track for both men and women. In previous years, the women used to do two laps with two riders, but it's now three riders to equal the men over three laps. The riders will start on the pursuit line from a standing start. Once the gun goes, the riders will tackle three laps of the track. Each rider only has to do one lap on the front. Once the first rider has completed the first lap, they'll swing up to the top of the track and that's them done, leaving the two riders left to tackle one lap each of the track. And the time is taken once the last rider is across the line. You'll see the riders ride really close behind each other on the wheels. This is to get in the slipstream to go as fast as possible. But sometimes you will see some gaps appear because some riders, they do like to rush up into the gap before the rider in front swings off. The points race, a mass start race with the riders lining up either on the railings or on the bottom of the track. Now the distance of the race can vary from 100 laps to 160 laps, but every 10 laps of the race, there is a sprint lap with points awarded to the first four riders that cross the line. The first rider to cross the line gets a whopping five points. The second rider gets three points. Third rider gets two and the last fourth rider gets one. But there are other ways to get points. If a rider laps the field, they get an extra 20 points. Likewise, if a rider loses a lap on the field, they are down 20 points. The winner? The rider who has accumulated the most points at the end of the race. I was actually a European champion in the points race. 
probably the most straightforward race there is on the track. Riders will line up on the fence or on the bottom of the track and cover a set distance. Now this distance may vary from 30 to 16 laps and it is pretty straightforward. The first rider to cross the line wins. Most riders like to leave it to come down to a bunch sprint, but some like to try their luck and gain a lap on the field. The Elimination Race, also known as the Devil, a great race to watch on the track and will have you on the edge of your seat. All the riders will start at the same time and every other lap, the last rider to cross the finish line will be eliminated and out the race. This carries on until there is only one rider left and that rider is the winner. The individual pursuit it is done from a standing start, either by a held start or in a gate, and riders will complete a set distance. It's four kilometers for the men and three kilometers for the women. Firstly, they'll have a qualifying round and then they'll have a final. And the rider that posts the quickest time is the winner. The team pursuit. The team pursuit race with four riders over four kilometers. And the aim of the race? to complete that four kilometers as quickly as possible. It's done from a standing start and you will see that riders are using slightly different handlebars. This is so they can get as aerodynamic as possible. You'll also notice that they will ride so close to each other. It's quite terrifying actually. By having four riders in the team pursuit, you can share the workload on the front to keep the speed as high as possible. Now you'll see the riders swing up nice and high and get back on the back of the line to recover until it's time for them to do their turn once again on the front. You do have to start with four riders in a team pursuit, but the time is actually taken on the third rider to cross the line. So tactics can come into play in the team pursuit. So if you're quite smart about it, one rider will do a big turn on the front, bury themselves and then swing out off the way and let the other three riders go through and finish the race in the quickest time possible. Okay, this might be my favorite race, the Madison. And it consists of teams of two and they basically hold hands. Well, there is actually a little bit more to it than that. As I said, riders will be in teams of two. One will be the racing rider and one will be the resting rider. But they will exchange roles throughout the race. But how do they do that? Well, they must make contact. And the most efficient way of changing roles is by doing a Madison hand sling where they hold hands. And essentially, the racing rider will pass all of their momentum on to the resting rider and propel them into the bunch. And each time the race comes past the resting rider, they'll change roles. The Madison is also a little bit like the points race, where every 10 laps is a sprint lap, with points awarded to the first four riders that cross the line first. The Omnium. It consists of multiple events over a course of the day. It consists of a scratch race, a tempo race, an elimination race, and a points race. Now, the Omnium format has changed over the past couple of years, but this is the current format. The riders will start off with a scratch race, 10 kilometers for the men and 7.5 for the women. First across the line is the winner. The riders will then go on to a tempo race, 10 kilometers for the men, 7.5 for the women. The first five laps will be free, but after those first five laps, every single time the riders come to the finish line, there will be one point awarded, the first one across the line. It is a savage race and it goes from the gun. Then on to the elimination race, exactly the same as the standalone event. Last rider across the line, every other lap is eliminated. Then finally on to the points race, 25 kilometers for the men and 20 kilometers for the women. Sprint lap every 10 laps with points awarded. The winner of the Omnium is the rider to have accumulated the most points over the four races. So that is our track discipline explainer. Yes, a little bit different to road racing, I know. If you do have any questions on track racing, please leave them in the comment section below. We'll try and get back to you.